Hello, Klaus here with a super quick video. So in this one, we're going to go into Fairlight and we have this little clip right here. If I right click and I go into clip attributes, we can just see that if we go under audio, we have a mono track and that's exactly what we want to do. So let's just jump into Fairlight. And in Fairlight, we have this little clip here with me biking. And uh, that's what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to use the IntelliTracker to track the bicycle going from left to right. And then that is going to automate the sound. And I'll, I'll show you how you can do that. So first off, I'm just going to take out my viewer here so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to select the audio track. I am going to be working in and I'm going to put in an in and an out point for what I want to track, what sound I want to track. And this is this little clip here. Okay. And then I'll go up here and I'm just going to click here and I'm going to show tracker controls. And for, for now we have a left to right. And if I just take this and put that on my bicycle here and push the tracking, it should track this pretty well. However, we can go here and we can put spacebar, we can see, and it's dropping the tracker around the first sound here. So let's see, we go here and here the tracker is dropping. So I'm just going to move the tracker yet again, and I'm going to track forward. And now it's going to track yet again. And then we can just quickly go through and see that's dropping the tracker and we can then track again like that. And there we can see the tracker did a pretty good job. Uh, just to show what it actually is doing, I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to drag this down and here I'm going to change this from none into pan. So we can see how the pan and right is. I'm going to select that. And if we just zoom in just a little bit here, we can see that it's doing the automation from left to right, right here. So we can see it has created a bunch of keyframe moving them or panning the sound so it fits, which I think is super cool. Of course, this is way easier to hear if you are wearing a pair of headphones so you can hear that left from right movement, but this is how you can make DaVinci Resolve do automation about left to right and other things. Of course, you could do front, back, up, down as well, but I'm only doing the left, right. Anyway, that is how that worked in DaVinci Resolve 19. I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.